Hello everyone, my name of course is Armage, and welcome to the last day of Vita, day 30 of vlogging every day in April. And for the second year in a row, we've done it. And I consider this year a much better success than last. As I mentioned quite recently, I've streamlined my process for doing this where I'm recording the day before. Technically, the first days was recorded the day of because I just realized, holy crap, it's April, I need to do this, let's get something done. So it's really given me a lot of leeway to work with things. Uh, even when I've done some outright bad episodes between having lost my voice, being highly inebriated, not having things that I really threw together in a cogent thought, it was more of a thought process vomit. This year has been overall a success. Now last night as I was getting ready to go to bed, I took the time to look at some of my previous videos from last year's Vita, and my style has changed so much. Last year's videos would just abruptly end. It would be sitting there talking to the screen and then just whoop, video cuts. I'm no longer talking, the music just is done, there's no fade out, there's no fade to black, nothing, just full stop. And unless there's a funny reason to do that, that's not really a way that you should end the video. This year I also got really ambitious and started off doing thumbnails and they started out great. The uh, thing that really slowed me down in it is when I did my discussion talking about supporting your local game store, I wanted to include logos from the various ones around and who have really helped me out along the way, so Black Knight Games, Board Game Central, Conspiracy Comics, uh, Comic Connection, and thanks to Extra Life this past year I have plenty of resources for Black Knight Games, uh, Comic Connection and Conspiracy Comics. They're Logos are easily available at decent resolution online. Board Game Central was harder to get. So I reached out to Constantine and said that I need a high-res version of your logo, and he said soon, and then soon didn't happen, and it totally derailed everything I intended on. Frankly, that's a really shitty reason to stop putting in the effort on those thumbnails. But also I realized just how much effort I'm putting into it, how much time is really being sunk into it, and I need to streamline that better as well. Now along the way, if you look back at my thumbnails through the month, you will see that they changed in style slightly as I went along, just finding things that worked better, things that stood out more. Some of the uniformness had to change, such as if I was working with a white background, I couldn't throw on the white text in the uh, characters following the V, E, D, and A letters that go down the right hand side, because who's going to see them? And adding just a black outline didn't make enough sense to me, so I'm going with black text. And it was a nice contrast. But I found a style that overall I liked and I liked working with, and I had a lot of fun, if you can't tell in some of those pictures, coming up with the things that I did. Some of my favorites include uh, trying to explain myself to the 40k Space Marine, somehow obtaining the Triforce. Also, I think my personal favorite is the one where I'm pushing against the brick wall, talking about creative block. The one I'm most proud of, though, is the one where I superimposed my face on the Infinity picture of the Garda de Asalto. It really taught me to work with the uh, image software that I have lying around and use that better. Now, going into the rest of the year, we have a new project that I'm going to start working on. I'm going to bring back tabletop translations. I have my Infinity to continue with up at Black Knight Games, and there's another store opening on the 12th of May um, out in Burlington called Torchlight Games and Hobbies, I think. It might just be Torchlight Games. I'll include a link down below to both their Facebook page, their webpage that they have one, as well as their opening day event. So I'll be starting stuff at that store. I'm doing more things with Board Games Central. I've still got my involvement up at Black Knight. I've taken a lot of free time for myself. Of course, we have the musical episodes to touch on, and of course, I've got my streams, some of which will be interrupted by other things that pop up, such as, like I said, that opening day of Torchlight or Broadsword next weekend, etc., etc. So it's been a different year for sure. I think overall I've done better. I know I still have a lot of room to improve. I need to be more consistent with my thumbnails. I need to be more regular with my content again. I need to make some changes. Now something I try to do that a lot of YouTubers don't is not harass you guys for subscriptions and notifications and likes and things like that. You're going to do those things anyway if you're enjoying what you see. So I hope that if you just joined me for the month of Vita, such as uh, Clayton George, who was, came across my Vita while waiting for Doc's Vita to go live. I think he saw my comment over on Dan the Video Ninja's channel, if I remember correctly. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, Clayton. I hope you enjoyed my stuff enough that you're going to stick around. 
Hopefully you find other things on my channel that are worth your while. Hopefully that some of the new stuff that I'm going to bring along is enjoyable to you. For those of you who have been here before and are sticking around because that's what you do, thanks so much. It's great having you here. For those of you who have decided that you had enough Artemis at any point during this, thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry that I wasn't what you wanted to find on YouTube. So until next time I speak to you, I will implore you as always to take care of yourselves and each other. And I will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for another great month of Vita, guys.